everyone okay let's start with the clean face for sure and then i haven't really put anything on my face and lips so i just use my eos lip balm and then it's almost gone and yeah and then using your favorite moisturizer i just use my clinic one because it is really really nice for in the morning kind of thing so i just like blend together and then don't forget your neck area and then just blend it to create a nice smooth base and then for this summer season i just use my bb cream and it's from skin 79 and it's in the hot pink sides and then i just like put it all over my face and then i just like dab motion like there just like that and yep it's really refreshing i love it and then don't forget your neck area for sure and then using your favorite concealer i just use the light one which is like not cakey at all it's a garnier bb cream and then I just like blend together with this Sigma brush, like a foundation brush. I love this brush. And then using your favorite concealer, I just use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Creamy Vanilla. And then this is like my concealer. Actually, it's a foundation, but I just like cover my an imperfection like kind of thing. And then using my light hand, and then I just like dab motion like that. It really works to hide everything. And then using your favorite face powder, I just use my Maybelline Clear Smooth and I just like using this big puffy brush from Sigma and then I just like dabbing like that to just keep everything nicely and set my foundation and concealer, not BB cream. So yeah. And then using your favorite bronzing powder i just use my elf one this is really really nice and using this eco tools brush and then i just like um doing like that just tap it the excess and then just frame your face with that so just contour your face and then also a temple area to just make it slimmer i can say just blend and blend you don't want to be looking so cakey or harsh just blend art and then just pinch the brush and then just um, contour your nose and then using this Too Faced absolutely invisible like a finish powder kind of thing to brighten the area that you want I just like use that for the face to just brighten them and then also the nose to just highlight it and then using this blush from color ink and this spring air which is nice kind of thing and then using this etude house steeple brush and then i just like use that blush and then apply that lightly for sure this is really really have a nice gradient as you all can see by now and then using Too Faced Shadow Insurance, you can use anything that you want to just keep the eyeshadow to not smear throughout the day. And then using this for my brow, I just use my Rimmel Pencil Brow. And then I think this one is the I think this one is the darkest one, which is in the black brown number four. And I love kind of like a thick uh, brush because thick brow because it just gives like a innocent look I can say so I love it so much and just blend together you don't want to be looking so harsh just keep it natural because it's brow to just frame your face and just blend that and then just drink my coffee because in the in the morning good morning guys and then using this elf blending brush just look like that it's a dollar only and I'm using this naked palette and it's a uh, buck color which is like a nice made brown color which is so nice for the outer corner to just deepen them just blend all together blend 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 you don't want to be looking so harsh and cakey
and then we just do the same thing for the other eye and then use this sidecar color which is like a nice shimmery uh, kind of like a sparkle taupe color which is really nice for summer season for the beach kind of thing because it just hit the sun it's a really pretty color so just apply it with my hand I don't have I don't just use any brush I just use my hand and then using this NYX Jumbo eye pencil in milk so I just use this lip brush from e.l.f. it's a dollar on me I just put it in the in my inner corner there to just brighten my eye to looking fresh for the summer and then using this covergirl single eye shadow in champagne 710 and then just apply that with this sponge and then just apply that for the inner corner which is like a nice brightening effect for that and then using this eco tools and like a blending brush and then apply that color for the uh, brow bone area to just highlight them and then using your favorite eyelash color I just use my Shu Aimura and then using the mascara to just like giving the black and line effect and doing the same thing for the other eye I just use my Maybelline Colossal and the brush it just look like that it's really really nice mascara I just love this mascara and then using this eyeliner from Revlon Color Stay in black so this one is really really nice kind of eyeliner it's so black and it stay and just make a little wing right there not too much I just want to keep it really natural and using this mascara again and for my lower lash line I don't want to be too thick I just want to keep it natural so we almost done and there you go and then using this tartar lips insurance I can say it just look like that it's really really red but I really love this kind of like a brightening effect kind of thing and in, it's really really nice feeling in it I love it so much I just like dabbing that so it's not um, looking so red I can say just brighten so I just use this NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Fuchsia and I just like uh, doing that and then apply a little bit on my lips to just conceal um, it's not looking that red it just give like a soft rosy color I love this lipstick color and here we go we are done here are the close up and bye guys thanks for watching and it's about vampire diaries tag it's so much fun tag